question for you. Yeah. Tell me about your African Uber driver. Oh, yeah. This was like two months ago now that I was uh, in an Uber, heading to a buddy's uh, buddy's house, hang out, pool day, uh, had to Uber because the it was in the middle of St. Louis's absurd heat wave where we were the hottest place in the country for like six weeks and my AC went out in my car. And so I was like, I'm not driving and dying in my car on the way there. And so I ordered an Uber and it's this African guy who's my Uber driver. And immediately, like he's already on the phone when he picks me up and he like, like stops for one second to be like, do you mind if I continue to speak on the phone? And I was like, hmm. no, not at all. And so I just got like a 25 minute ride from this guy. By the way, he took the absolute longest way to my friend's house. I like, I tried like at least two times to be like, you want to take a right here? We didn't take a right there. You want to go straight? <laughs> and we turned there. We went through like neighborhoods. But this guy, he was like, must have been something have of, a, of a relationship that guru. Would upset me. Well, he was interesting. He was on the mm. phone, clearly talking to uh, first a man for most of the car ride. And clearly this man was confiding in him about his relationship problems and they're both Nigerian or something. And so he had all these like funny tips, like the big tip that I remember him saying over and over was like, you are allowing a woman in your own house to dictate to you what you do and what you do not do. This is something that to me is entire nonsense. You, hmm. that is why you are in this situation. This situation has happened to you because she is in your house and she is telling you and you are listening to her. You do not allow her in your house to dictate the rules. He said dictate a lot. To dictate mm -hmm. the rules I, to I, I'm you. I'm with him. I'm on board with him because I'm picturing a, a scenario where like, yeah, you can move in with me. And she's like, hey, clean your shit up. I, hey, get, get your get your towels off the floor. Hey, come in here. Like, like what are you doing? <laughs> you left your dish on the on, on the table? Yeah, it's my table, my dish. Yeah. He, he, Smash. Like, this guy was like, traditional like, as shit. Like, like, like tra did. very traditional Nigerian man. He's like, yeah. she is not meant to be in your house instructing you. You are to lead her in the house. Does you are in, when you are in the house, mm -hmm. you are in charge. And so you do not listen to her. You are right. having listen. And then he'd be like, listen, 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 listen to me. Listen to what I am saying to you. I say again, when she dictate to you and you listen to this. You are not taking your power as a man. Your power as a man, that is your house. That is your home. You are the head of the of the snake. Or whatever the fuck. No, I like that. <laughs> Stay with that. I what added that it? bit in. The head, the head of the snake. what? You are the head the of the snake. Oh, okay, okay. You are like the it. head of the snake. I know it will become a silly <laughs> boy. Well, I like <laughs> You are the locomotive on this train. If the head follows the tail of the snake, what would happen? <laughs> what would happen? No, you cannot... You are having problem in relationship because she does not respect you. You are allowing her to be in a part of the relationship that she as a woman should not be a part of. And it was like, I, I wish I could hear the other guys yeah. point, like all the stuff he was complaining about. But I, I'd like to say, I think I learned stuff from him. I think I learned a lot about Nigerian masculinity. And I think I'm going to take that to the bank next time I'm in a, a serious relationship. And yeah. never... Never allow a woman in my house to tell me how I must behave. Never. Oh, I, I mean, I, I'm 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 with Magumbo here. Uh, all yep. that sounds mm -hmm. pretty good to me. I gave him a good on tip the, and five on, stars on the surface. <laughs> I don't like him driving you all around town. I did not put up. No, with that. The, but like at much. the end of it, I was fine with like four extra minutes of driving to get a little more fair. more insight. Yeah, that's fair. But then but, at the end, clearly a woman was on the phone, and so I think he was like mitigating a mm. familial conflict with someone that he knew like he was the guru handing out life lessons to people and mm. i didn't really I, catch much of the woman i would have got a second like, hey, you I know what take me back i want to hear the i want to hear you tell her yes. you are just a woman <laughs> it is your job <laughs> to shut your trap <laughs> yeah, what if, what if that's what it was. he like gives the guy like all this build up advice and then for the woman he's Ooh, like you are a despicable witch <laughs> <laughs> i am going to kill you <laughs> because you step out of line in your house with your husband so i assume oh, it was husband some... and wife they're pretty traditional over there i think pretty pretty christian mostly you, in nigeria so you think you picked up a few things from them yeah i, I think of I them so. as catholic or or definitely christian in some way or another yeah I, they're one I of the more Nigerian... christian I think. 
not super. Muslim. I worked with a Nigerian guy. Um, he had like a his name was like Alexander or something. He had like a very white name, and uh, and I just remember oh, he was like really good with the ladies. He's a good looking guy. He was a big dude, and uh, and he called pussy cuckoo. He's like <laughs> I I knew how to please the cuckoo. The, the cuckoo tried to get away from me sometimes. I do not let it. He's like trying to whole maneuver. From this point like, going forward, I also call pussy cuckoo. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> cool, he little cuckoo change, for cocoa puffs. He's <laughs> explaining how he'd like put a pillow, a couple of pillows and pile them up and kind of put that around the lady's waist so her butt would be up. He's like, but then you grab the pillow and the cuckoo cannot get away. <laughs> <laughs> he was just always talking about like, Really getting after some cuckoo, and that she's already woozy from the head injury. <laughs> <laughs> she does not have a chance to escape my Uber. <laughs> yeah, I, would, yeah. I don't like him driving me around again. I don't take Ubers very much, but usually when I do, it's because I'm dropping something off, like a U haul or something, and I know the way home, so I know if they're jerking me around. I, I wouldn't like that very much. But wait, I'm am I mistaken? I thought the price was agreed on beforehand. For so Uber? they're not driving yeah, you around like a taxi driver, like price wise. Yeah, no, it didn't get more expensive. It just like I would look at my app and it's like, oh, oh we're not arriving at uh twelve oh five anymore. We're arriving at twelve ten. He's just inexplicably like, taking a different route. Just inexplic he he went away. I never considered going to my friend's I house. I hate that even more. It was frustrating. Like you're yeah. not even profiting from this. You're just wasting he was both not of our paying, time. He was paying no attention to the drive. I could have <laughs> I could have been holding him at gunpoint in the back and he would not have known. He was very into this conversation. I just Excuse looked at Nigeria's you religious. You cannot pull a gun in my car. Yeah. I, this is you my car. It is disrespectful. Me. Yeah. <laughs> you cannot dictate to me in my Uber, even if you have a gun. <laughs> like he yeah, I, now that I looked at Nigeria's religious breakdown, it seems more likely he was Muslim. Because they're like 50-50. Oh, okay. And he was my guy definitely in was pretty not. hard with the woman stuff, and that seems to go with with Muslim, Islam. Yeah, but or in common sense in general, you know, like yeah. it, it does sound like like it does sound like his girlfriend is like kind of bossing him around at his house, and he's he, and, and I, I think yeah. your Uber driver was on to something. I think he was too. Why, why are men better at everything? What is with that? I think it's just God because I, because more. because historically, if you weren't at least good at something as a man, you mm, probably fuck. weren't going to have any children and pass your DNA along for one reason or another. You had to be good at something. But as a lady, you still on because, that Finster account? You're keeping a tab, keeping tabs. Well, you said some things. You alerted me to some some stuff that 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 um you know a while back um you you were a bit coarse with your language i can't remember exactly how you put it but but no i haven't been back um every there were someone would send me a picture of his ass for the longest time but they've they've stopped doing that it's kind of like wings where like i wasn't really looking for finster but people used to send me stuff all the time of finster or of wings and i'd be like Saw this new thing of wings, <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's how Finster's ass Finster. was for a while. I saw this new picture of Finster's ass. He's he's on a bed, and he's not. I don't think he's wearing anything, man. It's t it's pretty rough <laughs> stuff. Pretty rough stuff. I, I don't know. You know, you you open the fucking message, and there it is. What are you gonna yeah. do? You, well, I'll tell you. You save it. You save it. And you, you put it in your, you put it in a folder, and and you don't tell. You put anybody. it in a folder titled uh, "2016 Taxes," and, <laughs> and then you, you jack off. You've been looking at my returns, Taylor. You've been looking at my returns. <laughs> <laughs> my girlfriend knows not to look at my tax returns. Yeah. You open my tax folder. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> my tax folder. I'm very personal. Hey, I needed information. My, 2018. My financials are personal. Oh, 2018? Oh, never mind. All right. <laughs> so, yeah. You're fine. No, I haven't. Um, you told me a while back that he would he was um, maybe blowing his girlfriend um, on his OnlyFans, I believe is how you put it. I saw... Oh. Well, I didn't see that. But if I recall, oh, I thought... You told thought me, you, though. You clued me in that it was getting... That he was doing more now. Like, because I thought for a long while he was just posting sexy boy photos... But now I think he might be doing. Maybe it was scum. Work. Then I think scum is the one who was like, "Hey Kyle, you uh, see your boy Fenster is uh sucking a dick." <laughs> that <laughs> That's how scum sounds, like, by uh, the way. Yeah, even the way you said that, that was a really good scum. I like scum has good delivery. He's a funny guy. I like. Yeah, him. that's exactly how he delivers. Uh, well, he, dick. <laughs> I'll be honest. Scum said some meaner stuff that I won't repeat because I'm a, I like Fenster, but 
um yeah he clued me in that finster had a um was was performing fellatio on um on his girlfriend um so no i haven't Hopefully. seen any any more i understand that finster is making an enormous amount of money though that is what i am sure of good for him making buku bucks dressing like a lady like dancing around I, I follow him on Twitter, and so I'll scroll past fucking hockey highlights, and then it's just oh, uh, <laughs> those are some. What is, those are some. Racy. He's working. He's he just put some racing on stuff on Twitter. Body. Yeah. Oh, yeah, is that he? Guy, that guy is not doing. Uh, he's uh, he's skipping upper body day. He's skipping well, upper body day, and we need next time he comes on, we need to really drill home. Hey, that's great that you're working on the glutes and the hammies. Is there any word on him getting fake titties? Like, like has that been broached again? I hope he doesn't cross that bridge. There's no coming back from that. I I don't think there's coming back from that either. I, I think he's just a lady out. now. I think I'm just gonna oh. completely switch his pronouns, whether he likes it or not. And he's <laughs> like, I'm a boy, and we're like, shut up, bitch. Dude, it's, <laughs> you're, you're it, it's it's when you're having a conversation with him, especially when. Or especially when you're talking maybe to him and you haven't been going back and forth for a while. Sex at she. <laughs> See, I'm, I got the pronoun straight right now, but it's like it's easy to slip up and say her because he is so feminine looking. Yeah. Um. Thank God his voice isn't uh, uh tricky, or we would just have a real problem. <laughs> yeah, his voice gives it away. Yeah, I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad. Yeah. <laughs> if he had like a cute little girl voice, like like you. You'd have a problem on your hands. I bet he's been working on it. Oh yeah, I I, I know he Next has. Next time he's on, we're gonna have him do a voice. little do a do girl. girl voice only. No, I don't. Next I don't time, like I that. want him to wear what um, Kanye makes his wife wear that that outfit that was just like a like a, a piece of duct tape going <laughs> from the fr the top of her vulva to you know up her up her gooch and, and across to her ass track. Just just that and like I think her hands on her nipples. Like I, I think we need to get a more racy performance out of Finster because that's what the fans want. You look at the comments right now. <laughs> the, number one comment right now. Show me that bussy. Mm -hmm. Number yeah, one comment. Look at all those thumbs up down there. Oh, look we're begged constantly. Everybody's for... looking for the comment that says "Show me that bussy." They're thumbsing it up. They know they want that Finster bussy. Yeah, and, and I, I think that I mean I think if he really wants to promote his OnlyFans, um, he should come on. You know, a bit disrobed, <laughs> but not too much. Leave some to As, the imagination. Yeah. Well, Zach will blur afterwards. Like he doesn't, he can show all. Zach will, Zach's diligent about that sort of thing. And we'll all be naked too to make him comfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's naked show. Naked, na yeah, naked PK. Actually, I want to do Cox some cloning before I go shirtless on the show. Okay, Cox out for Finster. That's the that's the name of the episode. Just just that PK. 688 cocks out for Finster. Yeah, and this is just, a great idea. And we all have to show that we're not hard. Can we and make the bubbles great. so that we're surrounding Finster? Like, That's like, my like, time like, I want to, like, like, in the, in the <laughs> you put him in the middle here. Yeah, that, yeah. that was, uh, that was pretty awful. But I, I sent you guys the video of that police shooting. And, and if you haven't seen it, yeah. let me, let me lay out like the beginning of it because nobody's seen the beginning of it. Um, I mean, people have, but what the, everybody has seen is the middle of it. So basically, Female cop, male cop, arresting some guy for some such and such. Not a big deal. Taking him from his house or his girlfriend's house. None of that really is relevant. But he's in the back of the police SUV. The bad guy, we'll call him. But not a bad, a bad guy. Jail cell. Yeah, he's, he's, go, he's going to jail. He stole something. He, he, he did something wrong, whatever. Female cop is still talking to witnesses, friends, family, whatever, over by the house. Male cop walks past the car. And, you know, he's milling around back there. An acorn falls from a tree onto a nearby vehicle and go you've heard we've all heard it donk yeah you it know? goes bang 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 <laughs> <laughs> that whitey that that pig you it know what acorns sound gah, like gah, 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 gah. <laughs> and so the cop the cop literally starts running and gunning like it's a, the end of a call of duty fucking uh campaign <laughs> he's 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 screaming by the way he's dumping his magazine into the car and the, and he's screaming for his partner to do the same and she, he's like I'm, I'm hit he's crawling now he's got fake gunshot wounds himself <laughs> he's crawling <laughs> like like he's doing that thing where you've got your pistol but you and you're using it to like crawl along the ground and he's just dumped all of his bullets into it and he's begun to reload he's trying to get away and lady cop to her credit didn't do anything wrong because if my partner screams i'm hit 
And I said, where's it coming from? As he lights up our car and he says, in the car, I'm fucking, I'm giving that car all I got. Because mm-hmm. Bob said so. Bob's yeah. on the ground, says he's shot. He's crawling in the street, by the way. He, like he's, oh, he's shot. I thought he was paralyzed. It, I was like, oh, what happened to Bob? No. But meanwhile, this guy who probably didn't pay some child support or like <laughs> stole some spray paint or some shit is in the back of the car. Bullets coming from both sides. Must have been <laughs> 40 fucking rounds through that car because asshole back here is reloading. You're going to give him some more. I don't know at what point they realized that no one had shot at them. Like new cops come and they're like, what's going on? And the guy's like, <laughs> we're all just putting our bullets in this car He's so, <laughs> you want he, in yeah we're all this trying cop, to find the guy who did this <laughs> like this, this, that, this, that this cop would it would have been less embarrassing if he'd shit himself on stage shaking the president's hand this he is he is <laughs> being what happened to the victim everybody who makes videos is making a video about the humiliating florida yeah. cop who who got scared of a squirrel and and like blew away a cruiser it's embarrassing he's done i would hope and so. he needs he to be done a, you can have a trigger oh, finger yeah. he like that. He doesn't have the temperament for that at all. Oh my God, no. That, that's Jesse that's... Hernandez. By the way, Hernandez, I think, is the um, Patriots guy I was thinking of. Not positive. Oh, um, yeah. Aaron Hernandez was the Patriots yeah. guy. Oh, yeah. Um, Aaron Hernandez. I don't know. If... I think he's dead. Cowboys, too. Right? Well, yeah, he killed himself. Oh, right? every bullet missed from both the guy and the girl. The person in the car wasn't hit a single time. The cops can't fucking shoot. Yeah, like, what percent um, would you say right. can that's shoot well? True. Oh, I don't know. Sometimes I, I, when I'm watching those videos, I can tell right away by how by how they hold the gun when they're shooting it, because some of them limp wrist it, and that means that the pistol is able to really rock back and do stuff on its own. Mm-hmm. But that means that if you can imagine, you know, you've got the slide on top and you got the grip on the bottom. The way a semi-auto works is they move into sort of independent of each other. The slide has to move while the grip stays stationary. So if you allow the grip to move with the slide, it might not cycle now. Because mm-hmm. you're not holding that grip stationary so that the, the, the slide can come back and do its thing. So, so they'll limp wrist it in a way and the gun will be moving around and the gun will jam. But then I'll see a cop pull his shit out. And it'll be clean. Like, it won't be just a Glock. It'll have some shit on it maybe. He'll have like a SIG with a red dot. And, a, and I'm like, oh, okay. He'll, he'll be holding it a certain way. And just, like, all right, this guy can shoot. But then I'll see people just spamming, just shooting everything mm-hmm. in front of them. Can't I've reload. Seen- two police the, they had rifles not pistols and I, I think you've seen the same videos kyle like one of them was l- like he goes to his car he goes to the back he gets out his rifle it's ar-15 or m16 yeah. i can't tell and uh <clears throat> like he, i think on the way there he has to buy standard like this way and they're like yep they're over there and then the bad guy is just outside like the doorway this is a pka hangout we watched it the last one and i was the only fool who was like wasn't so sure that that was the bad guy that I'd be mm. ready to pull the trigger. Everyone else in the hangout was like, obviously that's him, <laughs> you know? And, uh, but yeah, the guy came and he shot from a distance too. I might call it 75 yards. Yeah. And every, every bullet hit its target. Sometimes they're good. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen a few like that where a cop pulls out his service rifle and shoots a bad guy at like a hundred meters. And it hit, mm-hmm. he's just, like, and he goes subject down. I'm like, oh, that's our guy. <laughs> that's Officer fucking Badass. Officer Badass. You, oh, <laughs> speak, Officer Badass. So there was the Uvalde shooting, that and then right afterwards, too. there was another school shooting where the cop just like passed everyone. He was the glory guy. He's like, the where are they? Who had the sub-2000, the Keltec. The trans shooter. Yeah, he was a trans guy. Yeah, yeah. She was. What did the she cop a, have? Oh, no. I, he he was. Bag. He was a trans man. I don't know if the cop, the cop had an AR, but the, the shooter had a Keltec Sub-2000. It's that piece of shit I tr- was trying to shoot um, sodas with when I was pepper sprayed. It's a mm. folding gun. I don't know what oh, caliber yeah. this was, but it, it comes in maybe 9 and 40. You said those were kind of shit, uh, right? I mean... Maybe they're neat for what they are. <laughs> I don't know. what. It, yeah, I mean, you could break it over your knee if you wanted, if that's a definition of shit. Um, you know, it's a folding that's gun. That's the interesting mm-hmm. thing. Like, it folds in half, and then it's just so small and compact that you could really sneak it into a school. <laughs> 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 you know? And it seems it's like that, that, yeah. that person, she put it to the test. Me, she personally, I would, I just like to throw it in my toolbox because you got a little, you know, little little 9 millimeter rifle you can pull out if you want. And yeah. It's, it's non discreet but... That person clearly wanted to murder children with it yes. for some reason. Yeah. Oh, and then there was the Joel Olstein church shooting, of course. I saw people say that that was a trans shooter, and then they like 
went back on that and said it wasn't, but it was definitely a pro-Palestinian shooter because they had Free Palestine written on the rifle. Wait, as they went into jo- Sunday, they went into Joel Olstein's church of 40,000 attendees and opened fire. And oh. a, uh, a local cop and a um, an alcohol agent of the state were packing heat and they killed the um, person. Oh my I don't God! Know if the pro-Palestinian person persuaded anybody with the mass shooting, no, nobody, no, no one, no. no one jumped on his team, huh? Dude, Not you're gonna one. barge into a forty thousand person mega church with a gun, like you? That is a swap meet. Like, what well, the NRA so convention was there. too far away? Yeah, there's <laughs> what are you? Yeah, you know how the many SWAT people are packing in like an crowded. evangelical church? Kills? It seems like it. I think he killed a woman. Um, I, I don't. It's hard to keep everything straight. It's just I mean, a crowd to dump yeah. into. I mean, yeah, I don't know how. Ignore that... the church thing. I'm sorry, Kyle. It, it could be a hockey game, a sports event, a, like anything. A crowd like that just seems like a place to yeah. rack up a body count. It's like the Vegas, yeah. Vegas one, where like yeah. the majority of people who died, I think it wasn't even shooting. It was like trampling, right? Where people stampeded, and I'm that sure was part that of really heard that. I don't know brought, yeah. drove up the death count. I think so. Uh, Interesting. They, we never learned anything else about that at all. Dude, you're obsessed that, with that one. I don't care. You, I it's the like largest we, one uh, of all time. We didn't learn. How many was it? It was in uh, the 50s. It was way bigger than uh, anything, any see, other. That's of our just your pro Palestinian roots flaring up again, Taylor. Aren't you aware of what happened in Israel on October 7th? That was the largest mass shooting of all time. Don't you dare. Don't you dare, you anti Semite. Yeah, Jesus yeah. That, that definitely wasn't the largest mass shooting of all time. It absolutely wait, wait, was. It wasn't? The at October seventh. I mean, you could like the concert make... at the concert specifically at the concert. Oh, oh, I was maybe. gonna say because I'm know. having a hard time. Like it's apples to apples here. How do we? You got a concert in Vegas. You got a concert shooting, right? in Israel. Oh, no, no, the biggest mass shooting of all time was the invasion of Normandy. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, Norm- right? it was the okay. Khmer Rouge where well, they. We're not the talking Cambodian. about mass shootings on enemy armies, are we? <laughs> I, I don't know, like I mean, because October seventh, we kind of uh, are. What was the Bataclan nope. France we're one? Specifically, like, like if we're defining it as the biggest mass shooting ever, we're talking specifically about the concert shoot um, that was going on. And the other side would probably tell you that a lot of those people were shot by Israeli troops in the crossfire, which I hear a lot about, but I, you know, never really saw any Chicago, proof either man, way. No idea. I know. Yeah, they're not going to tell true. you. It, of course, not. you can research and find out and still not know what's true, which is where I find myself a lot. Mm, I just trust our leaders. Yep. That's good. smart. Yeah, smart. Yeah, yeah. They've never yeah. lied. That's why they're in charge, man. They, yeah. You can't get that high in politics if you're a liar. It scares me. When they <laughs> it scares me so much when they well, all disagree. You, see, you think some like bought and sold guys with no scruples who hate you are mm-hmm. in charge? You're crazy. You know what it was, Kyle? Them. You know, remember post show last week when we were talking to Wendigoon and you said, I was talking to Taylor and we both agreed that we would not do a, a joke about selling our soul to the devil. Yeah. I wanted to point. do a bit on the show where Woody sold his soul to the devil, but I didn't even suggest it to him because I was like, I know that he's an atheist, but he wouldn't sell his soul to an, an like, all right, here, here imagine this a demon. bit. A guest comes on the show and he has sent Woody the paperwork pre already. And there's a lance set in there and everything. He's got to prick his thumb, put a bloody fucking thumbprint on a real contract that says that this, this man, as an arbiter for Satan himself, gains access to Woody's eternal soul. And it's a, it's a well-written contract and everything. I wouldn't sign the contract, is what I'm saying. I wouldn't go I through it. I will sell you my soul for a crisp $20 bill every week. You know, <laughs> we can just make it a recurring. That's the day. Halloween episode. we got to find it. someone we'll to buy his soul. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, you want to you go in on, want to split Woody's soul? $10? <laughs> I, I so want to buy his soul. Um, let's, let's both give him $10, and we will be co-owners of his soul. What if, like, immediately our lives improve and his collapse? Like, 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 like immediately. Your like, bench goes up 75 pounds. You're like, what, what happened? <laughs> well, that makes oh sense. God. You guys would have split mine. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You just, like, you just get more powerful in every way. And, and, but every week, Woody looks like the guy from Thinner. He's just like becoming tiny. Yeah. Like the crypt, he's, he's turning into the crypt keeper a week He's at a looking time. more and more like a Mexican alien. Every yeah. single week, just kind of <laughs> crisping up and fading away, uh, just eyes sinking further and further into, yeah. into his it's like, skull. Hey, yeah. about that soul, and we're like, ah, yeah, I don't have it with me, you know. I'll, I'll remember next week, and we don't remember next week. It'll be like when we get to the pearly gates. It's like 
if our soul gets declined, we can be like, really? Let me check my wallet. Try this one. And they'll be like, this is an even worse half of a soul. It belongs <laughs> to the devil. What are you doing with this guy? And it's like, oh, well, you're right. I guess I don't want you. Yeah, we shouldn't bring his soul to heaven. Yeah, we'll leave us. it here. If we, we probably, right, probably should sell it to the devil at some point, if we're going to be the, the owners of the soul ourselves, I wanted to find, I don't want to be involved between. in a devil deal. That can't help. I us. think, well, it's Woody's soul. We're giving them. It's not our, you know, if it, if it were that, then I wouldn't yeah, but God's going to know but. that we were middlemanning for the devil. <laughs> God's going to know that we purchased Woody's soul. I, I don't think that we're getting out of this. I think unscathed. that the reason we purchase it is to keep him from selling it to Satan. Would he would would Woody rather have his soul possessed by the Lord of Darkness or two retards? Clearly, I us. I kind of I wouldn't do anything with it. I'd put it that in was my, the whole I'd, thing. You you want to actually sell? Oh well, I was being more benevolent. I was thinking I would take my half of the soul dot contract, put it in there in my. I my was safe. in the business of flipping souls. It would seem. You're gonna make a See, cool that's exactly what fifteen dollars. This is this is <laughs> Simpsons this did is, this first. Uh, this is capitalism. Yeah, the Simpsons right here. did we, too. This. Here we have here we have <laughs> Woody Barnes who has no interest in his soul. He ha he finds it have zero value, and here we have Satan who finds nothing to be more valuable. You know, it seems like you want to really be that need to cut star. out the middleman. Maybe I'll but get rid of my gray hair. What would actually happen is we would get bamboozled by the devil because he's smarter than we are, and mm. he would get us by virtue of the fact that we sold the soul to him. He'd be like, now you've lost your souls also. Three for one for him. Too late, fucker. <laughs> Too late? <laughs> well, I don't know if it's an unpopular opinion. You're, you're thinking about the devil. I already sold and stuff. mine. I think Johnny plays the fiddle better than the devil. No, he I does. have that backwards. I Everyone think the knows devil that beat Johnny. The devil plays better than Johnny. Everyone knows the devil plays better than Johnny. Mostly because he has accompaniment. Those demons, and, and then a band of demons joined in, and it sounded a little something like this. And they fucking play, and it's like, oh, that sounds pretty good. But when the devil hits his lick, it's like, that's a way cleaner, longer, better lick than what Johnny hit. It's definitely superior. When that song is performed, does the same person do both parts? Charlie Daniels? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I had it in my he, head. There were like two fiddlers on stage. <laughs> One was clearly better. Charlie Daniels is known as a, a very good fiddler, you, as you might imagine, since Rest he actually has the whole song about, about, the, about the thing. Mm. Is he dead? He's oh, a I fit don't know. guy. You know, I, I, I remember that. I remember him being very svelte, very, very long and slender. No, <laughs> I thought he was a big fat fiddler who, who big, was fat from fiddler. olden times. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah so I, was, I would not sell my soul to the devil. That seems no. like there's nothing to gain there, and a, I mean, and a whole whatever. lot to lose. Hey, is your soul? Johnny rising up your bow and play your fiddle hard. Yeah, that's good stuff. Um, Hope he's alive. He looks like he's alive. Good for him. Rocking it. Oh no, no, he died in 2020. I now I look oh. better. Oh, was it COVID? That's a good question. But... He doesn't look like the kind of guy who'd line up for a vaccine. As I bet it was. Hard, well, you. Pretty much heart disease is the, the easiest layup. Pretty much everybody dies of that. I remembered him being heavier, but in that photo Zach showed there, he looks, for those of you who don't know, Charlie Daniels band. Check him out on YouTube. Some some country music from the... Taylor, I'm going to ask you to pronounce this for me. Hemorrhagic stroke. Nah, I made a good choice. Actually, I'll no. say this. Elon <laughs> Musk is building <laughs> rockets to, the, to space while uh, the, the other billionaires are building bunkers in the Earth. I, I I I like Elon. I like Elon. I like the space thing. I mm -hmm. don't care if his car rusts. I don't care if it randomly do takes off and kills people. I don't <laughs> care that he exaggerates. I even though I am on the side of killing those Russian invaders, I kind of mm -hmm. like that he said, "No, I don't think I can let you use Starlink to do a whole coordinated attack on their Black Fleet." It feels like I'm Sergeant Elon all of a sudden, and mm -hmm. I didn't sign up for that. This is a telecommunications network. Like, if I do that, then what's to stop the Russians from considering my satellites legitimate war targets and me maybe a legitimate target? I, you know, I don't really want to do this. Starlink now? No. Oh, the Russians are using Starlink? They are, but I don't know details beyond that. I don't know if they're Militarily? stolen. Yes. I don't know if they're stolen uh, satellites. On the, What are the, the freaking dishes on the ground called? Um, Receivers? Sure, we'll call them receivers. I don't know if that's what they're called, but uh, they, maybe, they, maybe they took them from the Ukrainians and now they're using them for themselves. Maybe they have some bootleg device. Oh, you just turn that shit off. Here. It's a subscription service. 
I maybe they don't know who owns it. Is the record keeping? But apparently they're using Starlink now. It's a thing. I'll have to look into that. I hadn't seen that. That's crazy because it, I thought of it as like it'd be like stealing somebody's cell phone and like, oh, the bad guys have your phone now. Now they can use it. Yeah, oh, man. I'm, I called called singular. Or yeah. I don't know who you call. Like, oh, fuck, fuck. Putin got my Hulu login. <laughs> How am I going to handle this? Mm. Oh, I got to cancel it. Easy Let's peasy. See, from Forbes. Trusted news source. Trusted news From source. Forbes. I'm not disabling my ad blocker. I'll just choose to believe you. Wall Street Journal <laughs> says the Russians have thousands of them. Mm. Is that a better source? I guess. Oh, I didn't. I mean, I wasn't dogging on Forbes. I don't know anything about news networks. I find Forbes mm. to be a little Ukrainian um, lieutenant. What general is the attention Neil grabbing? Neil. Oh, New York, New York Post, right? I, uh, no, I was I was going for like their little clickbait. Tabloid, or a little yeah, tabloid. That's better. Forbes, a little uh, bit tabloid, which is funny. Yeah. They had a really respected magazine, and their their website just became garbage. Garbage. Yeah, it's weird. I, I guess you know you go for what sells. If if everybody's doing that buttoned up sort of here's the news today from mm. older white folks and how we see things but if you're if you get a little more sensational and a little more uh, tabloidy i guess it works better well that's weird i don't i don't i get maybe i don't know understand fully how starlink works uh because i know that when i've looked into it because my dad's in that internet hell hole it's like you pay for the dish five it's the price has changed because it's one of those early adopters things five mm -hmm. seven hundred dollars for the dish the receiver and then it's a subscription service that you're paying like monthly fees and they get you a certain bandwidth. I would guess maybe there's mm -hmm. different plans even for like faster, faster speeds. But it, so it seems odd to me that I guess he's just providing service to Russians. I, and that I, article Woody linked, it says that SpaceX has said that the people selling those in Russia are scamming them and that they don't work in Russia. Oh, and I don't know. They might be using them in Ukraine question mark. I have no no idea. This is the first mm. I've I don't know. I've heard of any of this. But Starlink as a whole is kind of cool. Like that's like it's going to be great when it's awesome everywhere. Can you imagine? I think it's that? awesome in most places. Like I think already? they're almost there. Have you seen how many there are? Like like I don't know. Yeah, I've I'm seen not... the graphics and all that shit, and it seems like a lot, but it's also and like, it's like three or th it's like thousands of them. Like of satellite, like satellites uh, yeah orbiting. i've seen i i can't see it with my naked eye but i've maybe it's, it was a good lens but you can see they're in a band moving around the it's like this one followed by that one followed by that one you can see them in this like very straight line moving how do they decide who gets like rights to space real estate because no like what if some that. like there was a we signed a the, the powers that be ha had a whole talk about space and decided when, when they decided they couldn't um uh when did the the nuclear testing in space right i know I mean, they decided like, the is, is that just is america it? and russia like because who else is could do that shit yeah china, I, india. china i guess um, okay oh, can india well if we're talking about launching satellites every, anybody can launch a fucking satellite what, obviously what was the exact question taylor can india i was uh, meaning like like Kyle was like, oh, the powers that be kind of decided, you know, sliced up the the bits in the celestial realm up there. And I was like, oh, well, the powers that be when they decided that must have literally been like, all right, here's a Russian guy and an American guy, and they're deciding. Probably so. And I so know, maybe now um, with other countries, they're going to be pissed. Well, if there's, whenever there's actually the technology to go up there, like that show Woody and I like for for all mankind. Mm -hmm. If if it was, if it was like going to the wild you know to california back in the day if it was an arduous trip but yeah we can all do it it's not a big deal we just go it's hard but mm -hmm. we get there then we might be like yeah that treaty was from 1967 when we decided that no one owns the moon turns out we kind of do own the moon because we're <laughs> here and we have we have anti-space guns so you can't land on the moon anymore and so now we have to blow up their anti-space guns on the moon mm -hmm. and now we have a moon war which is not done enough in sci-fi um, moon there needs to be something on the moon worth fighting for. Real quick, I self fact checked. India landed on the moon last year. Yeah, a little not with thing. people though. Doesn't count. We are so yeah. far past giving a shit about a robot f landing on the moon. India shouldn't even get props for that. India done said that times. no sooner than 2040. <laughs> 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 they did say by 2040. Had their plan to go to the moon again is upsettingly stupid. Uh, it, it, there's so Who's many plan? rockets India's involved. Or? Our plan. Okay. Our plan. Like there's so many rockets involved with getting all the fuel up into space to like couple that bitch up. It makes me wonder how they did it the first times. <laughs> <laughs> <Does> it? <laughs> 
It's like, dude, Damn, there was technology it's a shame we in the threw 60s. away all those rockets from the 60s. I guess they don't want to do it in a tuna can this time around. Like a fuck that. That's bunch bullshit, of like a ball dude. of tin foil. Nah, it's bullshit, dude. Uh, uh-uh. I don't. I'm not buying it. They're like, ah, we wanted. We're building a more spacious. We want more leg room. That's all. That's why it's taking an extra fifty yeah. years. To do it's it. Like, it again. What the fuck? In 1969, you went there with tin foil and string. Like, and we can't do it now. It was very I dangerous. Saw the Tom that Hanks saved movie. the other yeah. characters and became president. That mm-hmm. that's was the a luck TV involved. show. I'm. It, <laughs> have you? Apollo 13 is um is one of the all time greatest space movies. That when that is a movie, Kyle. You can't believe it. It's oh, a movie. It. That shit happened though. That shit happened. <laughs> um, I love I love Tom Hanks stuff. Too all over my scene. I can't remember which astronaut it was. Um, they were they had to calculate their own reentry and maybe paint on on the on the glass and use that at, to to like get themselves home. Is that a that's a movie? Right. I know it's happening in a movie, but it happened in real life too. Like it's based on a real thing that I think a Russian did. That a guy did who's doing math up there and had to. Oh, a that's friend of mine like flew. Um, spent, I'm gonna find it. What, there's a discontinued kind of helicopter that the army uses. It's like a Yahweh or a, does anyone know their helicopters? I know Apache, it, and that's it. it. This is like um, it's more silent and not as cool or advanced. But anyway, it can shoot missiles. So the way that they did it is they shot missiles and they watched them. Then they took a grease pin on their windshield and used that as their target. Interesting. Yeah. And they just retired this thing like three years ago. That's pretty ingenious. Very smart. Mm, it's pretty low tech. <laughs> but it's to think of something like, like that the in the moment. Like, version <laughs> with a helicopter. Yeah, that's what they do. Did, so Kyle, you don't think we're going to the moon in the 2020s now? Oh, you're muted, my friend. No, I told no, you. no, we're not going in the 2020s. It, you know what? It'll it, Again, it will take finding a resource there or a military advantage there, or it will take a very motivated president. Like it'll take an individual. It will take a guy who's like, man, space is my jam. It's space is my fucking jam. Why doesn't nah, Elon Musk go personally to the moon to flex on everybody? Um, You'd have to ask him. I think he's got his own plots and plans, right? I no one's know going to the moon right now. Oh, by the way, that helicopter is called a Kiowa for the a six Kiowa. of you that cared what it was called. <laughs> <laughs> There's some helicopter out there who's like, yes. Like, like, I want to know what helicopter we're talking what about. Was. What the fuck is a Yahweh? That's oh, not a Jewish or something. <laughs> Named after the Kiowa Indian tribe, of course. <laughs> yes. Kind of insulting. We named they him have after Apache, Indians. They have Comanches, you didn't say a word. You hear Kiowa and suddenly you're not so happy. Yeah. Well, it's more disrespectful. It's kind of flexing on them, right? It's like they didn't know how to, they never figured flight out. And, and now we're, <laughs> we're gonna name all our fucking fences. Like, yeah. look, we named this fence Apache after the people who chased buffaloes around <laughs> for <laughs> centuries. <laughs> you know those like pretty cool Stone Age tribes that we dominated. <laughs> fucking four games in a row swept the Indians. It wasn't named, even close. <laughs> <laughs> we named this wheel Neanderthals. They didn't have that. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, or Cro Magnon. Maybe that's I don't know. Whatever. Cro Magnon, Neanderthal. It. All the old ones, all the hits, the classic humans. I like those and, Hobbit people from of Indonesia. I think those are the, by far the the, the, the coolest. People. No, 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 no. The the Hobbit people of Indonesia that they found. It was an offshoot of the of the human race. It was one of our cousins, like the Neanderthal were. Our the Russian troops. economy is fine. Our tr- where, where, how, are, how are the Russian? I'm not bullets? an economist. The Russians and- are running out of tanks and bullets, right? Starting two years ago. I'm and now they're not, not a, uh, now they're fine. The it turns out they're economy, robust manufacturing is fine. They're absolutely Taylor, running out of those things. They're, they're using time, North Korean bullets. The North, I have a hard time. See, here's the thing, Taylor. Think about this. Really hey, before we move to Russia's economy. Propaganda. Okay. Here's the thing. If we're going That's to true. what kind of world is it where our ally, Ukraine, it, you probably don't want to see them that way, like can't count on us to give them, them the artillery shields they need when Russia's um ally, North Korea, can. Like Russia can count on North Korea, but Ukraine can't count us on us to get them the shells they need. I mean, that's just kind of a weird way to they, put it. I well, don't I, care well, about said, Ukraine at all. What I'm telling you is they are running out. They ran out. Like, like I don't. I, it, Russia has not run out of ammunition. They were why saying do they have in to early get more from in other countries. Other countries are sending them ammunition because they are because they're almost out because they're running so low. I mean, that, they're shooting. You North can Korean find shells. sources that say it's not because they have been saying they're running out of ammunition for years. 
And then you one of the chief like pushbacks against that. If that we're was playing even on paintball. At the time. We're playing paintball. I'm shooting red. You're shooting blue. You see me start shooting blue. You know I'm running out. Even if I have two pods on my back, I have borrowed from Taylor because I am so low. That is the that's the situation on the ground factually. They're so low on shells. They're importing them from North Korea. They're going to Kim Jong Un. That's got to be a fun meeting to go to for Vladimir Putin to say, "Oh, excuse me, chubby leader, I need some more ammo." Let's say let's say that's all above board. And well, that's not all true. those are like facts. Actually, I can I, I can mean, back up, Kyle. They are getting lots of ammo. And by the way, the failure rate on those shells apparently is really high, and it's a problem. Oh, we do the best we can. Probably, probably. we do the best we can. You <laughs> calm down. Did me you to come over to my Korean house? Artillery shells, I but give yeah. you the finest dog meal. <laughs> 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 like, uh, no, they, the your point about like, oh, Russia is getting it from North Korea. Even if so, that's fine. I don't want to supply Ukraine with any more money or munitions because all that does is empty our supply and make more money for military industrial companies at the expense of the american taxpayer those are american we companies. don't need those yeah but that's not the same thing we could have better industry we, we it doesn't have to be the only thing we manufacture here is guns and bullets we could have bigger more robust industries well that's russia russia's only exports are, are petroleum and guns and bullets we we export all sorts of things. I think uh, like the point is, if we're going to do government spending to boost the economy, why not put mm. it into roads and fa better bandwidth and, oh. I don't know, parks sure. or yes. something Securing like Securing the border, deporting illegals, healthcare, like all of these things would be way, think, way better. I was looking at the numbers on, um, it's, it's so weird how they define a guy walking across the border illegally, whether it's a migrant encounter or, or whatever, but the numbers were staggering. I think it was ten thousand a day. I think it was ten thousand a day. Yeah. Or something. Can I jump they in? We're being caught or something. I'm struggling with these numbers. I saw six thousand a day caught. Apparently, five thousand a day is like a trigger point. I extrapolated to get to ten. Okay. Um, but sometimes I see like like this little town with a population of twenty thousand is suffering from six thousand migrants a day. I'm like, well, that doesn't seem right <laughs> like how is its population 10 grand if it's increasing by six grand a day are we not counting people leaving are we counting people passing through it's well they're illegal well, no, so they're, they're not part of the population yeah, they're not part of the census <laughs> so they're getting they're, wait i'll count the dogs though. either and then big non-government organizations counted, yeah they, but, they they take money from us to rehouse these people and pay for their medical care and pay for their needs i hate and that. so we we foot the bill of the whole world and we get fucked. You know what the answer is, Taylor? What? Kings? Going back to kings and queens? Sounds like electing oh, Kyle's the answer. No, yeah. much simpler. Much simpler. It's it's just demographics, Taylor. It's demographics. That solves this whole problem. Now you're probably aware mm. that uh folks from our well, that, that democracy is a racial, racial headcount. Leave yeah. all that behind. <laughs> People from our socioeconomic group, we swim in uh, in great numbers, isn't that correct? Sure. You swim, right? What are you I a swim. fucking professional swimmer? I don't drown. You know what I mean? You throw me yeah. in the water, I'll live. All right, well, that's I'll swim. Yeah, that's wait, wait. I think I see where Kyle's going. We need a whole now, country of swimmers, is because, what Kyle's saying. <laughs> that's because we are white people from the first world. <laughs> now, you only have to go to black people in the first world, and that number drops to a staggering like 34% or some shit. When you go to South America, Taylor, are you aware hmm. that number drops below 25%? Is your answer going to be huh. rising global waters? 25% of the people who are trying to cross into our border cannot fucking swim. And that's why those buoys that Texas are using are ingenious. Half of, it's very large. There's they're, they're in a chain like like a pearl necklace and they're so close together there's not much, there's no gap. They're touching. And they they go below the water and above the water and they drown people. They find dead Mexicans on them all day long because the Rio Grande is 4 foot 9 inches at its lowest. So pretty yeah, deep for those folks. That's pretty deep for those folks. Yeah, Especially if you short. can't swim. And you They're got a little. gaggle full of littlins coming along with you, you know, you're, that you're kind of trying to coyote. Dude, across. What, what I want our immigration policy to be is a bunch of bouncers. My grandfather's who only, a hunter and immigrant. Who only <laughs> let uh, hot chicks into the country. That's mm -hmm. it. You're a dude. You don't get in. Though. We're full. We, <laughs> we only let in hot chicks. And... I don't think that we would see a faster rising of an all-female SS than if we were only letting <laughs> in hot Polish girls. Like that, it, immediately, the most liberal of liberal women would be like, "What the? 
we gotta we gotta shut this down <laughs> <laughs> what's feminine women who are not overweight what <laughs> this is bad news for us but yeah we, I, I just think we're full i don't think i want anybody else coming in let's just have a hiatus on no, it entirely I, we clearly I do want them coming in i want lots of people coming in um why but what do we get out of it the vast majority of people who come here take government service in one way or another is that true? It, it is. I want to. Um, they take it in housing. They take it in food. In well, just because of the weight, initial government they take response, it in, they, it's, they it's so difficult to get accurate numbers on a lot of topics. Like, for example, in numbers, the immigration immigrants are creating entrepreneurship, their own businesses. They they create jobs. They hire other people in a much greater percentage than natives do. Then, like, if you're born in America, you're likely to be an employee. If you come to America, you're likely to start a business. That's mm -hmm. the truth. Yeah. Um, so people who are pro-immigrant, like, hammer on that drum all day long. Look at these people. They commit fewer crimes. They start more businesses. They become wealth builders. They hire other people. Aren't they wonderful? And then if you talk to, I'll just say it, the Republican side, they're like, they're MS-13. They're not sending their best. They're rapers, rapists, yeah. murderers, etc. Well, you don't come to And I'm like, where the, the where's the way. truth? The, the, the truth is that one group in that conversation you're talking about is discussing high caste Indians in the tech space who move here and are millionaires and who had like servants their entire life and then they start a business and then the other side the Republicans or right wingers are pointing out illegal immigrants and saying these people are way more likely to engage in crime they're way more likely like the, the hordes of people showing up at our southern border are not here to make a new Twitter they're here to get free dental care and free housing and take advantage of this wonderful country. We have like, free that's dental? That's what they're doing. Yeah, they do. Free you, no, lawyer. you don't. Kyle, if you go to the hospital because that tree falls on you, you pay a bill, don't you? But well, if, I, if I, Kyle I, uh, Herrera's goes <laughs> there, if you if you go down to fucking Cancun and then break in, and then you go, okay, like, <laughs> and say that, now you, now you might get a, a free cap put on your I just, uh Look, look I, I think it's common sense. Um, you have to have a secure border for your country yeah. to mean anything to me because it, if we're going to say hey, this is us and that's you then there needs to be a fucking line like at the grocery store unless you're going to pay for somebody else's groceries all right you put that little fucking thing mm -hmm. between your your dirty fucking uh potted meat and my pears all right because i don't want to pay for your potted meat and you certainly don't want to pay for my pears yeah that's all, I, I i i loved the idea of the trump wall um they've continued to build that thing although what they do is they put up connex boxes and they cover them with razor wire uh, over the dry land. Texas I've seen a lot of that. that. Maybe does that sound? Yeah, right? yeah. I and then obviously the ones. and and then those buoys in the water are genuinely effective and stop mm. them. They're they're there. A lot of people drown on them, but I mean, if you're stupid enough to go out there and think you can take on that giant string of buoys, like if you see it, you'd be like, ah, I can't get past that. Unless you can swim, if you can swim. You yeah. swim right under. <laughs> you <laughs> just go to just go to the bottom of the the river and swim on under. If you were just a competent swimmer, I mean the the biggest like pro immigration people out there are big business owners because it drives down their cost of labor. Like that's why Elon Musk wants huge levels of immigrants because he can pay them less to work in his factories than an American citizen. Yes, he does. He's he's like, we need to greatly increase legal immigration. Why does he oh, want I that? Oh, I think that. What is, think what is a huge legal immigration? Too. No, that's, that's but, retarded. But, but, what does it do I, when you import a huge class of people, laborers, who are willing to undercut the cost of labor for the native population. What you get are lowering wages for the native population. And that's a net I, negative for the middle class. So of course Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos want this. Of course they well, do. And of course Democrats want it. You've seen Elon at the border, right? You've seen him talk about the border and, and go there, right? He has, yeah. And he'll do his little song and dance where he's like, oh, we need to uh, get rid of illegal immigrants and maximize legal immigrants by 10. How do you do that, Elon? Oh, well, we drastically reduce the qualifications for it and get you your cheap labor. All right, great, Elon. Awesome. I haven't heard him say that. I saw him at the border. Well, that's the that's how you play boots. it forward. That's what he wants. Like, what does he have to gain from high levels of immigrants? Oh, cheaper well, labor. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna I'm gonna believe what he says and not like imagine what I want him. No, that's not imagining. It's just like one step away. I or want lots. I want this, lots this, of labor. I'll give you oh. forecasting. <laughs> if you remove the specifics of Elon's nice. conversation, I felt the way Taylor did when I worked in tech. So in mm -hmm. tech, they bring over people on what's called an H-1B visa. Mm -hmm. And oh my gosh, I've talked about it before. Like I was on a team of 20 people. There were two Americans or maybe I forget it was two white guys or two Americans. I think it was two Americans. 
there must have been 16 Indians and then some like Filipino and whatever mm. Vietnamese guy. I remember in any case, Oh my God, like the H1B visa thing is really real. And all of these guys come over one, they accept lower rates because they're just mm-hmm. happy to be in America and they're higher than they would have had in India Two, um, I had another point they they accept lower. Oh, they're absolutely captive. If they want to change jobs or, you know, the way that employees fight back is they go to the next place that pays them more. And that's how wages kind of, you know, you get paid what you're worth. Mm-hmm. They can't do that. If they were to change jobs, they get deported. That's boom. That's the end. So they're basically indentured servants who have come over here. And they're forced to keep this job until they get to the end of it or get a green card. That's the goal to get a green yep. card. Yeah. And I was like, man, I'm over here trying to make more money. And I got this guy from India that I'm competing with who's more than willing to, they literally don't have beds. I had like half of my coworkers didn't have beds. That was the uh, frugal mm. lifestyle that they lived. And I'm like, this sucks. I'm over here trying to get beds for kids and they don't even have one for themselves. And it drives my wages down. I felt like mm. it sucked. But if you're running a nation, there's a balance between hooking up Woody with less competition and advancing the state of IT and telecom. Were any of them as good as you? One. Yeah, Patabi was better than me. There, there um, you go. One guy out of that huge group. Like you being given what you needed in that oh, situation. Oh, excuse me, my friend. Is better. There's Your plenty. math does not add up. <laughs> you must ask are there three of them that cost as much as Woody? No. <laughs> no. 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 I was m- musing this while shitting in your nice public street earlier. And actually, I'm going to invite 11 of my cousins, and then we are going to really ruin a neighborhood <laughs> near here. Uh, yeah, oh, that, that shit is dude, fucking the way annoying. They pack, a two bedroom apartment would have like seven people in it. Yeah. And th- they were wrecking apartments. Like, I had one guy working for me, he got into art. Right. So he was painting paintings, sculpting clay on like his carpeted floors. <laughs> like, there's no way he didn't fuck that apartment up. Oh, of course he did. Yeah. But like, yeah, I, 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 I totally empathize with that, Woody. Like, that is, you're correct. They were stealing money. That company was undercutting you by bringing mm-hmm. in less qualified individuals from a foreign land from a foreign land and then paying them wages that you can't possibly compete with because you are raising an entire family there the same way that that translates down to like you're in a high skill thing you go down to, to a lower skill or a lower right. class if I'm a wage, drywall guy the same thing exists just at half except even more intense then because there's less of a threshold of it and so like way more people are qualified to do that and so mm-hmm. you you undercut huge swaths of the population and their ability to build a healthy living and have families because, oh, I can't compete with this Indian guy because he asks for 72 grand a year and he has to take it because he's effectively an indentured servant. I agree with that, but that was just the first half of my point. The second half of my point is if you're a leader, you're trying to balance the needs of say Woody or some drywaller and like the nation that benefits from having cheaper labor and more productivity and a growing population. And that, I don't know what, I don't know where the bullseye should be. I think that I understand what you're saying, but the principal concern of our government in that situation should be providing comfort and a good living to the American people. If you take that too far, I do very well in the short term and very poorly in the long term. I think we do fine in the long term. The the most, the most power, I mean, the most powerful relatively the United States government and nation has ever been in comparison to the rest of the world was in what post World War II, 50s, 60s, 70s. And that was 50s, 60s, and 70s was a time of drastically low immigration. Did we see America fall and become a, a weak little nothing because they couldn't get more people to do drywall and computer programming for cheap? Or did we see a robust period of American dominance? Because we're prioritizing American people. And that's what needs to be done again is American people are getting fucked and they need a helping hand from the government they fund. Let's talk about September 3rd, 1945. Dude, I want to talk about fucking about Total War Warhammer 3. I'm turned over it, Kyle. Well, this is kind of the same thing. September 3rd, 1945, the day after World War II. Yes, I did look it up. Hmm. Why didn't we just keep going? We All right, so hear me out. Japan has surrendered. Now they're an ally. A broken ally, I get that, but they're yeah. certainly not an enemy to a be, be of to be fussed yeah. with. 